Christmas is pretty much already here. Now, thanks to Amazon's, you know, two day shipping, your ass is pretty much saved if you haven't snagged up anything yet. Uh, I got you covered here with some last minute Christmas gifts. And of course, links to everything will be down in that description. Now let's actually jump right in and kick things off with one of the coolest pieces of tech that I've actually had the pleasure of using this year. The ViewSonic M1 Plus is a portable projector, a battery bank, and a Bluetooth speaker all in one. It's small, compact, yet beefy and rugged. The design is <laughs> next level too. The lens protector actually folds down and it becomes the stand, which I think is really dope. The image that this thing puts out is actually really damn good too. It's bright, pretty damn crisp, not to mention that the sound on this thing is like top notch. Definitely worth checking out if you're not sure what to get somebody. Uh, they definitely won't see this coming their way, guaranteed. Now moving right along, we've got the new G3 Plus. The G3 is an unlocked phone, meaning it'll work on almost every carrier. And it comes in at $150. For that price, you're getting some flagship features. All glass design, front and back, fingerprint reader, type C micro SD card support. You're getting so much that'll make you feel like you've been overpaying for all your other devices. This is the perfect phone for your kid's first device or even the perfect gift to get yourself. It's easily the best bang for your buck smartphone that I've seen at that $150 price point. Gaming chairs are hella popular. Everybody wants one and thankfully now that they've you know, been out for a while, prices have come down a bit. I'll give you two recommendations if you're looking for something more affordable, then you can't go wrong with the GT racing chair. It's wrapped in that same PU leather found on most uh, other chairs. The design is good looking and you get all the same features, you know, that recline, adjustable height and armrest. The only thing you want to look out for is the height and weight capacity. I wouldn't recommend this for anyone taller than like six foot and nobody over like 280 pounds. Now, if price is no issue to you, then definitely look into the Gamdiaz Achilles. This chair not only offers much improved comfort uh, over that GT racing chair, but it also has some extra features like RGB. Plus, it has much better support for taller folks, uh, better seat depth. Uh, it's just an all around better chair. Like I said, if money's no problem, definitely get that one. But there's two options for you. Moving right along. We got some Nintendo Switch stuff. Now everyone knows that the Nintendo Switch is selling like hotcakes and with the newly released Switch Lite, everyone's got one by now and yeah, games are the obvious gift, but don't forget accessories. The first one being this Bluetooth adapter, absolutely essential for any of the Switch owners. Now this plugs into the bottom of the Switch and this allows you to use, you know, any Bluetooth headphones or speakers with zero delay. It's amazing. It's low profile, so it looks nice and flush with the device. It's easily my favorite Switch accessory. Another essential is some joystick grips. These are from Control Freaks, and I promise you, once you use them, you won't be able to play without them. They just snap right on, and they give you more surface area for your thumb to rest, while also increasing the range of motion, allowing you to be a bit more accurate in FPS games. Super cheap, yet super clutch. Now, next up, we have the CM7000. These are the best headset that you can buy for $30. The mic quality beats out headsets that are triple the price. It really does sound fantastic. Full review on card if you want to hear how that sounds, but trust me, it's insanely good. Even better, yeah, it's cross compatible with multiple consoles, so you've got one headset to rule them all. Now, the only thing that might turn some people off is the super aggressive look. Uh, you can tell that it's a gamer headset. Other than that, nothing but great things coming from this headset, and it's only $30. Fuck out of here. Incredible value. Now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to like that smash button, check out some other content, and consider subscribing. Of course, links to everything down below. I'm signing off. I'll catch you guys in the next one.